Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for joining us again here at the Lions Den. I'm Scott, and I'm just doing a little quick video uh, for uh, someone else here. They wanted to see this. I, I did a review on the Snow Peak 700. I had mentioned that I have the Snow Peak 900, uh, also on uh, a hobo stove, and I just wanted to show you guys my little rendition here. Um, I bought this at the same time I bought the Snow Peak 700 a little over a year ago. And I just got into using the, the Snow Peak 700 so much that I haven't actually gone out and used this outside of here at home a couple times on an alcohol stove. So this is something I'm gonna try to incorporate during this year. Uh, this is more of a two person setup, I guess you could say, as far as size goes. So uh, let's just get into it and we'll see what we got here, okay? I'll explain what those are for here in a moment. Uh, as I said with the 700, I always keep keep one of these bags outside of the mesh bag that it comes in, solely for the fact of soot, dirt, that kind of stuff. I don't want that getting into everything else I have. We have the mesh bag that the Snow Peak 900 comes in. This is the same. There's three components, main components to it. You get a mesh bag that it comes in, a lid, and the pot itself, and that's it. So, and the price is only, you know, it's it's roughly a few dollars more than what it costs for the 700. So, once again, it kind of depends on what you're looking for. The nice advantage to this, I guess you could say, is this lid turns into a pot. As you see, I've, like I said, I've used it on an alcohol stove, used it a few times. Uh, I will say that I am a little disappointed in this part of it because titanium just doesn't, it doesn't evenly distribute the heat. So you to be really hot here and this can be half the temperature, you know. I, I don't know for sure, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not like gauging this with a thermometer and laser scopes and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm not doing NASA work here, guys, I'm just saying. You can be burning something here and what's over here isn't gonna be burning. So that's the one downside to the titanium stuff. You got the pot itself. Once again, it's got, it's got graduations in it and they're inverted so it's from looking on the inside of this here, right through this here. And you can see it here on the back side. Okay. And the key part to this, which is why I'm showing this, this is my version. This is of a hobo stove. This is the uh, IKEA utensil strainer. You can put your utensils in this, wash them in the dishwasher, or not set it out and let them dry. And a lot of people make hobo stoves out of this. Okay, and they usually cut a little slot in here and. Some have legs on them, some don't. Uh, this is what this is for, so that it has something to sit on here like so. Gives a good airflow still, since it does have holes there in the bottom. Gives a good airflow, so it's not closed off since this here is all uh, non-ported. You know, it has no vent holes in it here. If you had wood and stuff that's down below this level, it's not gonna burn as well, if this is all the way on the bottom. So that's what I made that there for. However, my difference to this is two. One, I took this and I notched it here, okay? Hopefully that shows up. I notched it here on both sides. And the reason for that is so that I can take these tent pegs and do that right there, okay? So that this or any smaller pot that I may have can sit on top. I can adjust it. to sit somewhere else. In fact, let me go down one more. Just like so. And sit it down. A little bit farther like so. Okay. Pretty much everybody has this. With the exception that I notched it on the top. The one key difference to mine is this, mine is actually cut down quite a ways, okay? 
and I cut it in a semi V pattern here and then boxed it in down there at the bottom. Now that may seem like it's going to make it you know a little more flexible and stuff. Yes it will. However, I don't think you need a bed of coals that's any bigger than that, honestly, in something that's this small of a diameter. You know, you, you can still stuff everything in here, get it to burn. You're burning quite a bit. You know, you can go from this setup here to once it's nothing but, but where you're working on smaller coals, you know, or just a straight bed of coals, because that's primarily what you want is the heat, not necessarily the flame. You know, more flame stuff, you're going to have more soot when it's more of the coals are predominantly getting the heat. That's kind of what you're working off of. You can always adjust it down. The reason for it being this way, though, is the 900 happens to fit perfectly inside this. Just like so, okay? That's how I get it all nestled together and not have to carry a larger cook pot where the stove has to go inside the pot. So. I can keep all my other contents in here. I can put in my sporks. I can put in, uh, you know, a couple maybe emergency rations if need be. Uh, carry, you know, maybe some drink mixes, spices, those kind of things. I can put all of that inside this without it being any form of an issue. And that fits right on top. So to me, I think that's pretty great. I think they work perfectly just like that. And, uh, there you go, that's, that's my rendition of the IKEA Hobo Stove. Thanks for coming along on this ride and we'll see you all in the next.